looking at what God to move through them. I'm looking for some people who love Jesus and, and worship and adore him and don't mind laying at his feet because that's what I do every day. I'm looking for some people who are already saying, God, as it is in heaven, let it go be on earth. I was just looking for some people and if I found y'all, hey, hey, hey y'all, we family. I just want you to know I am also a comedian. So when, in my mind, so when we get to heaven, I will be in the comedian club if God allows. So I'm going to have jokes here and there. It's because the joy of the Lord has been my strength for 33 years. For the joy of the Lord has got me through some dark times and some brokenness. And so I find laughter in every time I'm in the presence of God. And so I was just looking for some people who can laugh with me. Are you ready to go deep in a place where you find joy again? Are you ready to go deep in, in a place of worship where you find your laughter again? Where you find your creativity again? Where it goes to a whole nother level? Yeah, I'm saying, I get, oh, and I, I be having ADHD, but I be forgetting what I'm doing. The Holy Spirit will do the thing, <laughs> and I forget. So Hebrews, the scripture for today, and why what the Lord had brought put to my heart. I was reading the Bible. I was reading the Bible. And the Bible was reading me. And we were having a conversation in Hebrews 13 and 15 spoke to me. I'm reading in the English Standard Version of the Bible for it is easy for us to understand. And so I'm going to read um, starting here at um, number 9. Do not be led away by diverse and strange teachings, for it is good for the heart to be strengthened by grace, not by foods which have not benefited those devoted to them. We have an altar from which those who serve the tent have no right to eat. For the bodies of those animals whose blood is brought into the holy places by the high priest as a sacrifice, for sin are burned outside the camp. So Jesus also offered himself. Yes, I thank you, Jesus. Outside the gate in order to sanctify the people through his blood. Therefore, let us go to him outside the camp and bear the reproach he endured. For here we have no lasting city, but we seek the city that is to come through him. Then let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of of lips that acknowledge his name. I'm looking for some people who are ready to release out of the fruit of their lips, out of your belly. The old church used to say, out of your belly will flow living water. Out of your belly, you will change, make a sound that will reverberate inside of the whole nation. Out of your belly will come your deliverance and your breakthrough. Out of your mouth, out of your belly, not through the music, not through the preaching, but out Father, we come. Oh God, we come as your daughters and your sons. Father, we're not coming as apostles. I'm not coming as a prophetess. We're not coming as evangelists. We're not coming, Lord God, in our title, in our denomination. We're not coming in our race. We're not coming in our gender. But as your children that you created from the dust, that's where we're coming from.
still been crying. Father, your worshipers have come. Who can ascend to the heel of the Lord? Only those with clean hands and a pure heart, Father. Where my heart has not been pure, we're asking you to purify our hearts tonight. Where our minds have not been thinking and been thinking on the things that are pure, that are lovely, that are above. Father, we're asking you to get us out of the pit and bring us up tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, the lamb that was slain for us. In the name of Jesus. Every sickness and disease, we bind it in the name of Jesus. Every sickness and disease, we bind it in the name of Jesus. Every principality and strongman in the region, we coming for you. And we bind it in the name of Jesus. Lord God, you are the, the Alpha. Lord God, you are the Omega. You're everything in the middle. Father, you're everything that we need you to be. You are the impossible God. And you make the crooked path straight. Lord God, you give us feet like hind feet. And you allow us, Lord God, to get out of the muck and the mire. Father, you pull us up. You shake us. You make us. You wrap us with your love. And so, Father, we thank you tonight for the fruit of our lips. We will bless you. 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 Father, you know what each and every one of us need in this world. Lord, you know what I need. You know what I want. You know what I desire. You know what our my husband needs. Father, you know with Pastor Gary and Melody, what they need, Father. You know what Miss Sheila needs. You know, Father, what Apostle Tracy needs. You know what the, the fosters need. Father, you know what each of us need in this room. And so, Father, we come in unity. We come with our hearts toward you. Our minds focus on you. And so, Father, we say, feel us. No, not for us to get what's in your hand, but we want your character. Father, feel us. Fill us with the fruit of the Spirit. Fill us, Lord God, with more love. Fill us, more God, with more gentleness. Fill us, more God, with more faithfulness. Father, we want more self-control. Fill us, Lord God. Fill us. Fill us. Fill us. Apostle Tracy. Come on. Come on. To, to do the voice that actually broke me through in this region. You're the voice that, that pulled me to this region. And so I need you on the first thing I do here. The first person who laid hands and announced to the world that I was a prophetess. Even though God called me in 2015 in California. But no one could hear me. I, I, I just release you to release in this atmosphere. So that as we continue to go up. That God will move on the half of the people here in this region. So go ahead before you gotta go. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Just stay in a place of worship. Come on, lift up your hands in the sanctuary. Come on and begin to bless your God in this room. Come on, open up your mouth and begin to shabbat the Lord. Come on, open your mouth. Hallelujah. And if you have a heavenly language, begin to flow in your language. Come on. Oh, come on. I feel something growing in this room. I feel the spirit of the living God opening yes, up God. portals and dimensions in the room. Come on. Oh, I feel glory in here. As you begin to worship God, as you begin to lift up your voice, come on. There is a cloud of glory that is resting in this room. And some of you, even as we are worshiping, the Lord said, I'm healing your body. He said, there's healing coming and flowing in your members. Come on. Oh, we open up the rivers of the Lord. We open up ancient portals. And we open up the ancient gates of intercession and worship. And we say, let the gates of intercession open. Oh, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you would open up. That you would open up ancient rams. That we would begin to ascend the hill of the Lord. Come on. If you are ready to ascend, why don't you just begin to let the Lord Let him begin to envelop you in his presence Let him begin to envelop you in his glory Oh, shaka, ka, 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 
Oh, come on, raise your sound in this room. There is something that God is doing in this atmosphere. And in this moment, some of you right now, the Lord said that this is your hour of breakthrough. Oh, the Lord says I've come to break you through. The Lord says I've come to heal you in your emotions. The Lord says I am here. Oh, Father, the Lord says I come to move upon your and the Lord says as I move upon your heart The Lord says will you open and let me in Come on As you open and let him in The Lord says that I come to sup with you Oh God, hallelujah. Oh Krosan de Bantoria da Bahaya. Or even as you begin to worship, I heard the Spirit of the Lord say, the Spirit of the Lord says, even as you have come into this place, the Lord says, I've come to meet you. The Lord says, This is your divine visitation. And the Lord said, I have come to thrust you into the chambers. Says the Spirit of the Living God, the Lord says, Some of you, He said, He's getting ready to ignite your encounters, and you are getting ready to encounter the Lord at another place. You are getting ready to encounter the God of the Bible. And He said, I will come and I will visit you, says the Spirit of the Living God. The Lord says that as you begin to lose yourself in this room, as you begin to forget about where you are, the Lord says, I will come and rest on you. For the Lord said there are ancient mantles that I'm quickening in this room and they're resting upon you says the spirit of the living God. For the Lord says yea I have come to deliver. For I am your deliverer says the Lord. And there's two of you that are in this room and the Lord said that you have been in a season of great warfare but the Lord says I've come to deliver. I've come to deliver you says the Lord. For the Lord says yea I have come and I have come to stir the grounds of your heart. I have come to stir, 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 stir. Oh, I've come to stir up the grounds of your heart, says the Lord. And the Lord says, I've come to heal you. I've come to deliver you. I've come to make you into a new person. I have come, says the Lord, to overtake you. I have come in the fullness of my glory. I have come in the fullness of my might. And the Lord says, I come with my holy fire. I loose the fire of the Lord in this room. On every vessel, let the fire of God fall. Oh, I feel something. Let the fire of the Lord fall. Let it fall. Let the fire of God fall. Let the fire of the Lord fall. Let it fall. Let the fire of God fall upon every person. Father, consume us in your love. Consume us in your presence, oh God. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There's the spirit of the Lord that is resting upon you. Oh, come on, come on. The Lord said, I go back three years. He said, I go back three years. He said, the last three years for you, woman of God, back there. The Lord says, the last three years for you have been pure hell. But the Lord said, I have come to bring you into a place where I am causing breakthrough. The Lord said this is your season of divine breakthrough and supernatural turnaround. The Lord said I'm turning things supernaturally and I'm moving in ways that you not know, says the Lord. But the Lord says, yea, I've come and I've come to show you that I am Jehovah the Lord. I am the Lord that wars for you. I'm fighting for your name. There's some of you in this room. The Lord told me to tell you I'm redeeming your name. I'm redeeming your name. Yes, Lord, I speak to this region. I command that the region of Houston is opening up. I decree and declare that this region, this city is opening up. That we will begin to see the greatest days of revival. That we will begin to see the greatest days of reformation. That we will begin to see days where you will begin to see people that are full of the Holy Ghost. And they will begin to declare that this is the acceptable year of the Lord. They will begin to declare that Jesus.
Jesus reigns, they will begin to declare that this is that kind of year that God is going to do something that even your enemy cannot stop it. The devil cannot stop it. But the Lord says, I'm raising up people that are full of my fire. I'm raising up people that are full of my glory. I'm raising up those that have been tied to the altar. And the Lord says, you are about to see the results of the altar. You are about to see that what you have prayed, it is about to come forth. But the Lord says, I'm raising up people that have not forsaken the altar. And you have not bowed your face to Baal. But the Lord says, you have remained steadfast in prayer and in intercession. And you have sought after me with your whole heart. But the Lord says, I'm coming to raise you up. Oh, these are the days. The Lord said, I will raise up a strong people that know my voice. For the Lord says that they will know my voice, says the Lord, and to them that will hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying unto you. Oh, for the Lord says to them that have an ear. There is another baptism in this room. The Lord is baptizing you in new fire. The Lord is baptizing you. Come on, there is a baptism. There is a fresh baptism in the room. And the Lord is shifting your language. He's shifting your tongue. He's increasing that fire in your belly. He's, come on, come on, come on. The Lord said, I'm increasing you in your spirit, man. For the Lord says, you will not burn out in this season. But the Lord says, I'm strengthening you. I'm strengthening you. I'm strengthening you in your inner man, says the Lord. And the Lord says you will roar and soar. I don't know what is trying to shut your mouth. I don't know what is trying to close your mouth. But the Lord says this will be the hour that you will roar and you will soar. And every demon that has come to muzzle your voice, the Lord says that I am breaking. I'm breaking everything that has come upon you. That has caused you to be silent. And the Lord says you will roar. Uh -huh. Every shackle be broken. Every stroke code be destroyed. Come out of Every generational curse be broken. There's some person in here. And the Lord says you've been dealing with a sickness trying to come upon your physical body. But the Lord says that as you begin to worship in this moment, the Lord says that what you have saw today, you will see no more. I'm telling you, the spirit of the Lord says the enemies that you see today, you will see them no more. For the Lord says that this is the hour that I have come to liberate you for good this time. The Lord says there will not be any more temporal fixes. The Lord says you will not see another day of a temporary fix. But the Lord says what I'm doing, it will be eternal. The Lord says what I'm getting ready to do in you. Woman of God, the Lord says it's going to be eternal. But the Lord says gone are the days where it seems as if you are up one day and down the next. The Lord says this will be the year that the Lord says you will stay on a momentum and you will stay on top of the mountain. Come on. If you believe that, open your mouth and praise. Yeah. If you believe that, open your mouth and worship. Yeah. If you believe that, somebody worship. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Worship the King of Kings. Worship the Lord of glory. Yeah. Worship, worship, worship. Come on and worship, worship, worship. Oh, da, da, ba, da, 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 da. Come on, something is building in this room. Something is building in this room. It feels as if God, the ancient hand of the Lord, he's walking in this room and he's touching every person by his power. He is touching every person by the spirit. Come on, not by might nor by power, but it is by my spirit, said the Lord. Come on, come on, come on, come on, lift your hands. Come on, you feel that? That is the glory of the Lord. Come on, lift your hands. Open your mouth oh, and receive Hallelujah. the King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
The Lord says that as you leave this place, He says you will lead to be different. You will lead to be extraordinary. I loose an extraordinary anointing. I loose an unavocal, I loose a peculiar anointing. The Lord says you are not average. You are not mediocre. And the Lord says you've been trying to settle. But the Lord says this is not the season that you will settle. But the Lord said that I'm causing you to rise above that place of compromise. You will not compromise. Come on, come on, come on. Out of your belly, out of your belly, out of your belly. Come on, I feel intercession in the room. Out of your belly, out of your belly. Oh, 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 o
be in your day. I will I literally see you sitting and playing prophetically. And the Lord says, even as you begin to play, the Lord said, demons will begin to manifest. They will come out of their hiding places. And they will begin to vacate bodies that they have told my shia, that they have lived in for some time. But the Lord says, Yea, will you be my minstrel? That you will be one that will provoke deliverance. But the Lord says, Get ready. For I will trust you to deliver a nation. Oh God. The Lord says, Get ready, for you shall deliver a nation, says the Lord. For the Lord says, I will trust. There is a purity coming upon the, the minstrels. Y'all better hear me. There is a purity coming upon the minstrels. Come on. There is a sanctification that's coming upon those that lead us into worship. There is a sanctification. There is a kind of holiness that is coming back to those that stand before the presence of the Holy God. And the Lord says, that I am raising up my requirements. And the Lord says, These will be the days that you will not be able to get drunk and lead worship the devil is a liar the Lord said these are days that I'm calling my people to the heel of the Lord these are the days that I'm calling my people back to a place of righteousness and holiness for the Lord says you will not operate except you're holy except you're holy except you're holy for the Lord says I am raising I'm raising up standard for holiness and only that which is holy will begin to take the results on the altar for the Lord says these are the days that I will raise up a holy nation nation, nation. a holy people a holy people a holy people the Lord says what's been on your heart and what has troubled and wearied you oh God the Lord says that I show up as the God of solution but the Lord says, yea, this is the season that I will bring solution and many answers to questions in your life. But the Lord says, I even move. I even move through your bloodline. And the Lord says, I purify your bloodline, says the Spirit of the living God. But the Lord says, there has been an ancient demon that has been after your bloodline for years. But the Lord says, that I come tonight by way of your obedience. And the Lord says, I come tonight because you decided to show up here. You decided to pursue after me. The Lord said that because of your obedience, the Lord said, I'm going and cleaning some things in your bloodline. Oh, my Shanda. He said, I'm cleaning up some things in your bloodline. And the Lord says that those were the enemy has trailed after me. And he has literally desired to sift in this wheat. The Lord says, because of your faithfulness. The Lord says that I will move it. Oh, God, I will move it. I cancel premature death. Uh huh. I bind up premature death. For the enemy wanted to come and take your life from you too soon. But I decree and declare. The Lord says that I'm going to grace you tonight with life. Come on, you should have blessed him right there. Yes. The Lord said, I'm coming to grace. I'm putting a grace on you tonight called life. Because the enemy wanted to have his way with some of you. The enemy wanted to take you out before your time. But I come to prophesy tonight and tell you that the Lord says, I just overturned the plot of the enemy. I just overturned the ploys of the devil. And what the devil meant for evil. I just turned it around for you. The Lord says, get up and live, 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 live. Oh, he says, get up and live. The Lord says, you can breathe again. The Lord says, the dust has cleared and the smoke has settled. You can breathe again. You can breathe again. You can breathe again. Come on, breathe in this moment. Come on. It's a prophetic act. Just inhale and exhale. Come on. Breathe, 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 breathe. And every time you breathe, come on, God is healing. Every time you breathe, come on, deliverance is coming. Oh, every time you breathe, something is happening. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, whew. there is a glory that is strong in this room. Glory to God. I promise you, I'm giving this mic back to the prophet. 
glory to God. But I just heard the Lord say this prophetess. The Lord said, he says, tell the people, he says, tell them that I just secured the next 10 years of their life. The Lord says he has gone 10 years ahead of you. The Lord says he's just secured the next 10 years of your life. What do you mean by that, Apostle? That means that you can't die? Oh, glory to God. That means that you won't lose nothing? Come on, somebody. Glory to God. That means that you won't take no losses in the next 10 years. The Lord said uh, that I've covered, I've secured the next 10 years of your life. Some of you thought that you would have lost your mind by now. But I'm telling you that if the devil didn't do it already, he don't have a chance now. Because the next 10 years of your life, God said, I've covered, I've covered, I've covered. I've secured it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I just implore you to continue to worship. Glory to God. And in any moment, at any time, glory to God. Glory. I know this is a very prophetic atmosphere. Glory to God. It's very unorthodox. It ain't religious. Glory to God. So at any moment, you can just come lay on the altar. Glory to God. And I believe that as we pursue the altar again, I believe that we'll see Bible results. Glory to God. I believe that as we begin to get back on the altar of God, and we will see, we will have Bible and biblical demonstration. Glory to God. So at any moment that you feel God, glory to God, you don't have to wait on an altar call. But right at the moment that you feel Jesus, glory to God, just lay out. Glory to God, just lay before him. Come on, as worship is going forth, just lay before him. Glory to God. Hallelujah, let him do a work on you. We're not ashamed to say, God, I need you to do another work. Glory to God, we're not ashamed to say, I need a little bit more deliverance. Come on, we're not ashamed. Glory to God, we put our gift on the altar. Glory to God, and we say, Lord, have your way in me. Glory to God, do something about my attitude that I can't check. Come on, do something. Let the glory of God do something about my ways that are not pleasing to you. Let the glory of God come upon me to do something about how I treat people. Glory to God. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 